this bike is so fun. Like. Twenty seventeen CV five hundred F. Hey everybody, Magic Jellybean here. So I do this thing where I'm really bad at ex explaining what it is I'm trying to do in the video. Um, so this is not my typical Moto Monday. This is actually more or less kind of like a review, but it's very uncut and raw. So this video right here is just me talking about the CB500, my experience on it, who's this bike for, who's it's not for, and it's, it's pretty much uncut because I want you to judge for yourself. Um, so without further ado, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, because remember, that's what the cool kids do here on this channel. And let's get right into it. Huh, so, I mean, what are you supposed to do in a commuting video? I mean, I just kind of want to show you my commute, show you what it's like commuting on I mean even though you've already seen it two videos now I just want to show you a more pure form of what it is I do when I commute so I'm not going to be cutting this video much you're, you're literally going to see you know the whole pretty much my whole drive it's only about 15 minutes so it's not going to be too boring for you but this bike is awesome guys I have a CBR I have this bike obviously I mean look at how much I can flick this like oh I love that but I have this bike and I have a CBR954. The CBR954 is getting powder coated right now and it's getting a new engine, um, new tires. It's basically getting a rework around from the ground up because the other engine had an oil leak. If you remember that CBR954 from way back when I started the channel. Um, even when that CBR954 is done, um, after like the first week or two, um, you know, once I've gotten all the love affair out and stuff, and I've re-bonded with that bike, no, I'm just kidding. But you know, once I've once the butterflies have gone away, I'm probably gonna ride this 500 more um, when it comes to work. Definitely not on the highway, obviously. But you know, when I go to work and stuff, this bike is so fun. Like 2017, like it's a V twin. It's power on tap. I mean, it's only 45 horsepower. Um, unfortunately, it's not like the SV 650s or the uh, like the XSR 700 or the Yamaha MT 07s where it's more like a 650 700cc or the Kawasaki 650 um, you know those bikes with like 60 70 horsepower um, because Honda you know um, they made this bike for the A2 market as well so it's only 45 um, but it almost it almost almost like this close almost kicks and punches like a like an actual you know mid-sized parallel twin or whatever degree twin unlike the SUV 650 and stuff but you know on the top end that's where you really find that it loses itself because uh, it only goes 110 miles an hour I've only been able to get it to 109 because every time the speedometer is about to hit 110 it always like shuts off not shuts off but it, it like cuts the power so I don't reach 110 it's kind of weird so I'm basically going 110 with this um, if you did like a sprocket mod because this is I, I believe this is a 15 tooth if you upgrade the front sprocket front sprocket to 16 tooth you get like a 7% increase so you can technically go like 117 even though this thing will read 109 but um yeah it's just you it's good for the highway don't get me wrong it's good for the highway but because I come from a leader bike I always just want a little more just a little more just a little more um, I always find myself saying, I mean, even though, you know, the power is very respectable on this bike, I always find myself in a position where I wish I just had a little more, just a little more power, that's it, you know? That's the same position I always find myself in. Alright, they're going to block us in, obviously. So, I gotta figure out who's gonna be faster. This is why I always wish I had just a little more power. So you can, well, I could have gotten around them, to be honest, but I just didn't, that's why. this early in the morning. I'm just trying to get around y'all. 
<laughs> but that's why, you know, so it has enough power to pass people for sure. Um, but on top end, you're going to lose to cars like V6 cars that have 300 horsepower. Even my Nissan Altima, for example, it goes up, like, it can go up to 140 miles an hour. So on the highway, you know, you can't really compete that well with people, but you can definitely get them off the dig. So this bike, 0 to 60, is still pretty amazing. What is it? It's, uh, it's, I think if you, if you can launch good enough, you could probably get it 4 seconds, 4.2. I'm not sure. Um, I gotta look up those charts online. But it's, it's really good. I mean, the 0 to 60 is faster than my Ultima, which is 5 seconds. So, well, at least stock anyway is 5 seconds. My Ultima definitely does a faster 0 to 60, but, you know, um, we're just talking about stock for stock here. Uh, I don't know what kind of power I'm getting now, now that I took the muffler off, but it's probably not really that big of an increase, to be honest. But yeah, I mean, so it's it's nice. It's nice power. Um, it'll get you everything you want, um, but everything you really want, like that super extra juice. I mean, it, it just in my personal opinion, it's it's always barely not enough. Um, and that's the best way to put this power. But everything else about this bike is amazing. Everything else about this bike is so amazing. Um, it gets 70 miles a gallon. You know, even when I'm going. 70 75 um, miles an hour on the highway it's it's respectable <laughs> my visor's totally fogging up but I don't care right now because I'm trying to get the best audio quality possible see what I'm doing for this vlog see what I'm doing I'm going the extra mile for y'all y'all better respect me <laughs> I'm just kidding <laughs> Especially if you look up the specs beforehand, you see 45 horsepower. I mean, you see the top speed is 110. I mean, you, you don't obviously buy this bike. If you want to go fast, you get like a 600 or you get the CB650. Or you get the other bikes. Like the, I could have gotten the S3650 or the FC07. Any other bike, really. Because I knew this bike only had 45 horsepower and 500 cc's. It's, well, it's technically 478, I think. Or 486. I don't remember the exact numbers. Um, but the only reason I got this bike is because, one, I wanted the Honda so bad. Two... I was going to go to JM Honda to get a CB650, but this was on sale for 4000 sticker price. I was not going to pass that up. Brand new. Like, brand new. 2017. On clearance. Last one. Because all the 2018, 2019 models were coming through. So this is a very nice bike. Overall. If you really hate shifting through gears, I recommend the 16-2 sprocket. Um, because these gears are kind of close together. But other than that, I'm always I'm speeding up because this dude behind me. People always do that. They always want to speed up and catch them deep for no reason. So I always like to go fast to see if they're willing to commit. But that guy was not willing to commit. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, with the 16 smooth sprocket, you'll definitely get more out of each gear. So you'll be shifting as much, but I, you know, again, like, if you don't want to shift, that's not what you buy this bike for. This bike is the ultimate commuter, and I love the gearing that it has. In fact, I might even want to get maybe the rear two sprocket a plus one, just so I can get a little more torque out of it. Because um, that's where the fun is in this bike. If you're trying to get, you know, the, if you're trying to get the top end of this bike, just... Don't even spend the money on getting like a full exhaust. Um, all that money you would have spent on mods, just go. You could have used that money by upgrading to a 600 Super Sport or anything else, really. Like any, anything else. If you really wanted the top end, the money you put in the mods, it could have went to just a, a totally different bike. Um, 
That's all I'm saying. So, who is this bike for? This bike is for the person that wants to commute. This is kind of like an all-in-one bike, and best way I can put it. It's an all-in-one bike. It does everything decently. Um, it's not it's not really good at one specific thing, um, except it's a Honda, so it has stupid build quality and build reliability, um, which is why I was going for a Honda. I'm just a Honda fanboy, really. Um, but yeah, ever I mean, ever since I'm one of my first motorcycle, I always wanted it to be a Honda. Because um, for me, I don't, I don't know what it is about Honda, but they're 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 very. It's a very reliable name um, overall. So yeah, I mean, 2017 Honda CB500 commute here. You get what you saw. Um, no cuts, no butts, no coconuts, nothing, nothing uh, out of the ordinary here. Um, that's really it. Let me go ahead and get into neutral here. Get a neutral. Yeah. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I might give you a part two of me going home, but I think this is enough c coverage. Um, I think this is a, you know, just enough footage overall. Um, so yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do all the cool stuff, hit the notification bell. Um, we're getting to a thousand subscribers for sure. My goal is to get to it by the end of the year. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But it's possible. Um, so thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, until the next time, I'll see you later. Bye! Is this the part where I turn the camera off? I might just leave it rolling today. Might just leave it rolling today, gents. I mean, why not? Might as well leave the camera rolling for those extra 20 seconds at the end. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>